Today while I'm working on this painting, I'm going to be sharing with you four good artist habits that you need to know in 2023. So the first thing is about consistency. I know you would have heard this a lot of times, but yes, it is classic and it is simple. You have to be consistent. In the last four to five years, I have almost painted each and every day. Now you must be thinking that that's not possible for you because you might be a student, you might be working. Of course, I do understand that. But all you need to do is please show up. Even if you're not in the mood or you think that that artwork is going to be a little bit difficult for you, you can start from very small concepts. Even doodling works. You can just make any creative project or just get into some kind of creativity and that is going to help you to remain at least consistent. At the same time, it's going to lift up your confidence and you would want to go back to your artwork or paintings again and again. So this is very important that you have to be consistent and this with time will increase your skills and love for art. This is the behind the scene thing, real story. It's 44 degrees. I wish you could see the sweat and the hot air that's coming on my face. These are the behind the scenes which are very, very sad. And the second good habit is to always learn from your mistakes. Art is all about trial and error. You know, sometimes the paintings are good. Sometimes you feel just so awful looking at it. And that's okay, we make mistakes and we learn from them and that's how we evolve. So it is very very important that you learn from your previous work and try to improve your artwork. With time and practice, you're going to be great at it. And the third good habit is that your biggest competition is your previous work. If you just keep on comparing yourself, you're just going to feel very low and with time you're just going to be very demoralized and you don't want that. You want your art journey to be very happening, excited. At the same time, you want to learn and live with your art journey. You want to be happy in whatever level you are right now. You're doing the beginner series, you're in the advanced level. Always try to progressively move forward, which means just keep on evaluating your artworks that you did previously and just try to, you know, level up. Maybe you want to just improve certain things because after each and every artwork, you definitely learn, you get more skilled. We have to remember that every artist that you follow was once an immature and everybody started from scratch. finished. Moving on to the fourth point. To avoid burnouts, please take breaks. Just breathe. You really need to relax. And I know sometimes, you know, getting overworked and burnt out might just take away all the creativity from you. So all you need to do is just relax, take a break. Maybe you can go on a walk. If you can take a vacation, that's really nice to just distract yourself. And at the same time, you can take inspirations there. There's so many things that can happen on a small little vacation. But in case you're not able to make it, go and pet an animal. Spend time with them or just have a plant with you you know, get close to nature. And once you come back after a break, you're going to be more energized. Your creative levels are going to be so high that you are definitely going to perform better.
After five amazing days in the studio, finally this painting named as Poppy's Moonlight, themed on different phases of moon, is now ready. In case you liked it, then do hit the like button. Also, this is now available for sale on my art store. So you can check out the link in the description box below. And there are so many other art habits that I would want to talk to you about in future. So you can always comment down below if you want to know more about them. And I'll see you very soon in the next video. Till then, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Till then, take care and thanks for watching.